a stream of Armenian vehicles snake their way along a narrow valley pass in what was, until a week ago, part of Azerbaijan. They pass the debris of the fierce battle for the corridor, hardware, and burned out Azeri settlements. Across the valley, thick smoke hangs over the town of Lachin, which was the main Azeri community between Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh. Flames engulf former Azeri homes, torched, say the Armenians, by their owners before they fled. But that's hardly likely. These buildings have only recently been set alight. And throughout the town, what hasn't been destroyed is loaded onto lorries and taken by the victors. The corridor captured by the Armenians is 30 miles long across rugged mountainous terrain. Close to Nagorno-Karabakh, the convoy passes the bodies of dead Azeri soldiers left to rot in a ditch and a Muslim graveyard desecrated by the victorious Christian Armenians. Talk here is of a pause in hostilities, not an end. That and a determination to keep the corridor, the new lifeline, open. Armenian fighters have now pushed the Azeris out of Nagorno-Karabakh and man barricades 10 miles east of Stepanakert. Shusha, the last Azeri stronghold inside Nagorno-Karabakh, was captured a fortnight ago. It lies in the mountains above Stepanakert. The town's mosques have been gutted by the victorious Armenians. Armenian civilians are streaming into Shusha to reclaim their old property, now deserted by the Azeris.